Hello world, welcome to another episode of some Frank Mondo's A Topic. Uh, today I'm here with my brother, David. David How you up? doing? What's up? Feeling good, excited about uh, getting on this new whip, this, this jackpot. We're headed to Gatesville, Texas, USA, where uh, last week or so before I bought the Octane, I went and visit a, victor, a 2014 Victory Jackpot, 1,600 miles. It's an absolute baby. It's just been broken in. So we're gonna go pick that up. Officially be the first Victory Lane USA uh, motorcycle. The Octane was purchased for Julia, but we knew, as you saw in the last episode, that Julia wasn't going to keep it. And so that went into my inventory for Victory Lane. And uh, our brother uh, Renan, David's friend here, uh, looks like he's gonna be the first owner of the first Victory Lane USA motorcycle. David's gonna be my partner in this project. Why don't you talk to me a bit about like your experience with motorcycles and what this project means to you? I'll rip on that starting with really being called to motorcycles after doing everything on two wheels, BMXing, mountain biking, road cycling, and it was just this natural progression that once I got on my first horse, uh, Suzuki B-Strong, I loaded her up within a year and started doing four, five, six thousand mile trips. And for me, it felt like this first connection to riding across this beautiful country. Amazing country. Fucking gorgeous country. Amazing. I have barely, I've seen a lot of it and just scratched the surface because the motorcycle just represents a type of freedom that A, me personally feels like the soul is just longing for that type of expression and freedom but bringing it back to what feels like what we're doing here is is inviting inviting folks to not only taste that freedom but also be with themselves in a group riding across some of the most beautiful stretches at least in Texas to start what victory lane is going to be offering in the beginning is not only the experience but the adventure and that taste of of that freedom but bonding with a group of like-minded either brothers in male bodies or brothers in female bodies exactly. there's really nothing like that experience and that's what we're packaging up here and that's exciting getting to learn how to ride and how to be with other horses and also get to feel with like my brother frank on his uh vegas yeah. vegas eight, eight ball. ball yeah you know and just get to get to feel what that feels like to be on that type of horse and, and so, so that's really part excited. of this is part of you know for me the motivation to do victory lane number one is because i love the victory motorcycles number two you know they're finite you know they're close so you could really go get a taste of the best of the best and and this way is to try the motorcycles have other people try the motorcycles go deeper into the cult following of these motorcycles but most importantly like you said is an opportunity to hit the road together in a group do a, a workshop on the road and that's the vision you know so victory lane not only will it be a art gallery of these uh, amazing treasures but it will also be a uh, clubhouse for a motorcycle club which allows us to go out onto the road be in nature um, do brotherhood work uh, do uh, soul work coming to love work really excited the vision for the first victory lane excursion uh, expedition we will be doing Austin to Enchanted Rock maybe you could say something about Enchanted Rock it is this <laughs> massive 
granite mound, but what's beautiful about it is it's smooth. It's it's uh, like a dome. When you're on the top of this and you're looking over a gorgeous Texas hill country, what I feel is that sacred appreciation for this piece of granite that emerges from the earth that is massive and it's 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 beautiful even within that ride to get out there there is still so much to explore which is what we will do um after we you know whether it's like opening ceremony uh closing ceremony, however we really utilize the sacredness of enchanted rock um it, it, there's just a vast country hill country to explore so that's coming up keep your eyes peeled uh, social media or uh, databases and email newsletters I'll be uh, bringing that news to you very soon as um, we get our ideas and yeah, personal together. invitation because I'm gonna be inviting a lot of y'all personally um, um, for this really special moment and you know this will be the the catalyst the spark uh, for this fire that that victory lane is gonna go far deeper than even what we're we're covering Absolutely. here so being uh, staying tuned not only for this enchanted rock ride but really what's gonna Whatever's emerge coming from up. these hearts here yes amen all right so here we go off to get the jackpot <laughs> Well, it's good for the, uh, the ride. I wonder if it's a, a quick. Yeah, it is. So I'm here with Tracy, the owner of this beautiful Victory Vegas jackpot. And uh, thank you so much for um, selling this beautiful bike to me. I'd like to know a bit about the history of the bike. Who did it belong to? Mm -hmm. What's your still? What's the story? Yes, uh, this belonged to my late uh, father-in-law, who's always been a motorcycle rider for about 50 years, pretty much his whole adult life. Okay. Uh, he's either been a Honda, but he really switched to Victory years ago uh, by first getting a, a Victory Hammer. Okay. Uh, really enjoyed that. It got a little bit too much for him to handle, so he uh, went to a, a Goldwing but still fell in love with the victories, so he decided to pursue this Victory Vegas jackpot. Uh, as years went by, his health declined. Mm -hmm. uh, he still liked to hop on it, at least start it up. So this is Christy, the yes. daughter of the owner of the bike. You were saying about your father. Um, he loved Victory motorcycles in particular because you didn't see a lot of them around. He uh, loved to ride with different groups, and even in his 70s, he loved motorcycles, and in this one in particular was his favorite. But he got, really? Yeah, he got sick, okay. and he could not uh, drive it, mm -hmm. and uh, because he he just got so weak, and he was afraid it would fall over, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't be able to pick it up. Mm -hmm. So uh, he'd ride it still a couple of times, and and he just like I just can't, I can't mm -hmm. ride it anymore, and and uh, so when he passed away suddenly. Um, we didn't know what to do with it mm -hmm. and couldn't find a title couldn't find it. finally we did all kinds of things to get the title and then we could finally sell it mm -hmm. so we inherited it mm -hmm. and i did enjoy driving around in the back roads here out in the country yeah uh never was much of a motorcycle rider uh but i i did fell in love with the, the pipes you know it, it it's got some get up and go yeah uh, and i'm proud to say that frank came along and yeah. uh, and and looked at it and i'm glad things went together well for him to, to be the proud owner of the 2014 victory vegas Journal. thank you so much tracy you're really certainly appreciate welcome it. i'm going to send you everything we create out of it so you have a legacy piece of whatever we do at this motorcycle 
Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so happy to have come oh, across me it. Too. And me we're going to do something beautiful with oh, it. Good. I'm glad you like the vest and it fits. You're wearing yeah. it right away. Oh, you can't yeah. not wear it. Yeah. Super happy to have met you both. Yeah. It's I been a pleasure. And a I, pleasure. I'm glad y'all decided to come back out and get it. But, oh, I could. When he told me he's parting it, I'm like, brother, <laughs> give me one week. Yeah, give me, Just give me one. I need to get, get some here. money together. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so it's good. Sexy bike, bro. Very sexy. Very sexy. So, in terms of the drive so far, what, what, what is it telling you? How are you? Uh, it's it's telling me like uh, learn me, like be gentle, be slow, and then when you when you get a feel, I'll open up for you. I could tell. Yeah. Like she does move better. Yeah. But, um, Slower? No. Faster. Faster. Yeah. She moves better. So yeah. I'm like I'm already kind of at ease. Like okay, but uh, yeah, baby, I'm I'm gonna uh, take it slow. Fat ass. What do you want to do? You want to lead? Take the next one. I'll go. America. So we're in the heart of America here. Local burger shop. Oh no. If I wasn't riding a motorcycle, I'd, I'd have to I'd have to inquire about the about the stampede eating challenge. The stampede. The How big is that? Can, can you can you give it? Can you show its eye like? Is it that big? Wow! We put it on a 17 inch French loaf. Yeah. 17 inch, and somebody ate it in six minutes. I may have to come back for that one. Can I get a gluten free French loaf? <laughs> and I'll be on it. <laughs> this is fucking. This is the baddest hamburger I've seen. I call them dirty burgers. Is this a dirty? Oh, that's. Look at this. That's, this, this is fuck. Look at that thing. Some kind of dirty. Oh. That's like a, it should have its own uh, postal code, in zip code. Hey, yeah, zip Instagram. code, yeah. Bye, take care, thank you so much. Have a blessed day. It was thank delicious. You. you have a blessed day as well, man. Thank Thanks you. you so much. All right, here we are. So we are back to ride to our ride Gatesville and back. Mm. How was it to be on this pony uh, 1700? What's your experience? I mean, it's different than the Octane. She uh, she definitely requires a different set of what was I saying? Like presence, presence and attunement. But and and then you get that containment. You can take her deep. I loved it. The power is solid all the way through. I mean, I was in fourth gear in '75. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I was like, holy shit. And then when I finally asked you, what is this? You were like, 1700. 
Yeah, 17, I'm like, oh my 1731. god, 1731. Now yeah. you get it. There's so much. Uh, she wasn't even flustered at no. 95. No, yeah, man, <laughs> you look fucking great on it. Yeah. Phenomenal. I love the the, the jacket on yeah, you. Was, Super I badass. Felt, I felt pretty tough. I'm you not felt, fuck it was good. Like, so we are already starting to clean it up, take it apart a bit, yeah, and uh, yeah, so we're going to clean her up. And then see what uh, how she joins our family and where she ends up and uh, what we do with her. Thank you for watching. Remember, let love free. It's the only way we ever change anything. Peace from Austin, Texas.